Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. It is with such great pleasure this month that the World Federation launches WF Aid. Uh, WF Aid really is the coming together of three departments of the Secretariat to form a new unit to market the work and to really think through again the work that we're doing. Uh, and it's kind of coming together of health, uh, relief and economic development, uh, as well as Zainabia Child Sponsorship Team, and bringing it all in together into one umbrella designed to really improve the economic development of our own community, as well as to assist in disaster relief, not just for our community or the Shia community, but indeed the Muslim community and worldwide as well. And really the strategy for WF Aid is to, is to really upscale the quality uh, of the work that we do and the amount of work that we do throughout the world. The first and most important thing that we need to do is to focus on creating a recognized brands in the eyes of the donors, in the eyes of our own membership, and in the eyes externally as well of a, of a, of a, of a brand or where, uh, whereby great development work takes place. The second thing we really need to do is to build confidence from, for donors, for volunteers, for institutions in the World Federation's development work. And to do that, we really need to look at setting up things like key performance indicators, looking at social impact assessments, looking at impact assessments in general, looking at monitoring and evaluation of our projects, not just creating reports after a project is done, but really getting statistical data on why we have created an impact with our project. So if we take, for example, a scheme like the ZCSS, not only should we be doing reports, which I think have been lacking anyway, but what we should be doing is measuring social impact. Has the work we have done created an impact on the local society? Where's the qualitative data and indeed the quantitative data to prove that has been the case? And in order for us to really improve our work under the banner of WFA, creating such data and, and improving the quality of our reporting uh, really has to improve. And not only is that by reporting more regularly, but the manner in which we, we do this has to, has to improve. And the very first thing we need to do and we will be doing is increasing our capacity and looking at how other aid agencies do their work. So monitoring and evaluation, social impact assessment, and this type of thing will be an integral part of the new WF aid. Another thing that another part of our a key component of our strategy would be to rather than just doing welfare work, which is a, a huge part of our community's work, we should really, in many ways, apart from the disabled and the seniors, we should really say farewell to welfare and instead focus on economic development work, where we can. Uh, develop um, uh, our, our people and indeed local communities forward. Um, so that's a really, really uh, key part of our work. Another very important thing we should be doing and another key component to the strategy of WFA will be to make our agencies, those who we have been working with for decades, independent. So there are parts in India where we have been working with agencies for say 20, 25 years, and every year we continue to work with them. Why don't we just develop the agency and make them independent? Why don't we make them independent so we can focus in other countries, in other regions, in other areas as well? So really we need to think out of the box, and this will be one of the key things that WF Aid will be doing. Another really, really, really critical strategy of WFA, which we haven't been doing thus far, is to leverage our current NGO status. Not only do we need to build networks with other UN NGOs, with organizations like the Red Cross, organizations like CAFOD, with DFID and other bodies, uh, but we also need to really reshape our organization so external players not only donate to us, but they view us as being a partner as well. So rather than just really providing funds to our organizations, we should really be a network networker, a connector. So in the world of, of, of development, there are many organizations that want to build wells. Why should it only be our community donating towards wells? Why doesn't the WF rechannel and leverage its NGO status so that external organizations like, for example, Water Aid, would be encouraged to donate to our organizations like the Bilal organizations, for example. So one of the key things that WF Aid will do by bringing together our internal WF departments that do development work is to focus on uh, focus on uh, leveraging our current NGO status as an ECOSOC UN NGO, but leverage that by connecting us with other partners as well. Basically, reshaping the way we work so that externally we are more attractive uh, for others to work with us, to invest in our projects, and to partner us uh, on, on us and uh, the regions and our agencies on projects as well. And, 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 and so altogether, this WFA concept 
is really increasing the cap cap capacity and the capability of the quality of the reporting that we have to remarket the work of the WF. While it's there, it's there fragmented. We really need to give it a push under this new banner of WF aid. And thirdly, and, and as importantly, is to is to remake us more attractive to external NGOs, to re and create relationship and partners with the UN, with other organizations, so that the WF aid and its work and the work of our entire community gets the credit that it deserves and even gets external investment. I hope you are as equally excited about WF aid as I am, and I'm sure we will be providing much more reports to you going forward. Thank you, and we look forward to your feedback. Take care.